Here I'm going to demonstrate how to record a notes payable. And this notes payable is going to have four equal payments at the end of each of the next four years. And then there will be a discount to the notes payable. And then the associated expense will have to determine the present value of the notes payable and then the uh, interest expense that gets charged to each one of those four payments here. And what, then we'll come back here and look at the detail on the journal entries. But first, let's go and uh, show how to do the mechanics here for determining interest, expense, and then the present value. All right, to determine our interest expense on each of those four payments we make, we have to know what the present value is of those four payments, and then we have to know what the interest rate is. So if we go up here and look at our cash flow diagram, we have those four payments at the end of each of the next four years. So if we know our interest rate, then we discount those four payments back here using our present value function. Either in our calculator, calculator or in Excel, we come up with a present value here. Now, if we happen to know what the present value is here or on the uh, notes payable, say for example we purchase something, we know what its value is here, and then we know what we have to pay at the end of each next year, next four years, the payments, uh, we can go back and calculate the interest rate by using the internal rate of re uh, return function on a calculator in an Excel. Okay. But in either case, we have, we've determined our present value here. And we know what our interest rate is, so we multiply the interest rate times the beginning balance here of year one, which is the present value, and we get the interest expense for the year. Now we add that interest expense onto our beginning balance, and then we subtract out the payment that we make at the end of each year, that payment here. And then we get an ending balance for, in this case, year one. Then the ending balance for year one becomes the beginning balance for year two. Then we multiply that times our interest expense, and we get it, our interest rate, excuse me, and we get an interest expense for the year. Then we add that expense to the beginning balance, and we subtract out our payment, and then we get an ending balance now. This ending balance becomes next year's beginning balance, and we just repeat that. Um, same procedure and then that determines we determine our interest expense for each of the next four years. All right, let's look at our journal entries here for notes payable which is liability on the balance sheet. So in the beginning of year one we increase notes payable here or credit it for four thousand dollars and then at the end of each of the years we made a payment here on notes payable for four of one thousand dollars each and then that would be a debit here and then the associated credit would be to cash or reduce cash for um, those one thousand dollar payments at the end of each of the four years. So then again at the beginning of year one we record an expense here uh, of thirty one hundred and seventy dollars which is the present value of that notes payable and then at the end of each year we record the expense that's associated with those payments. And then you add those ex interest expense here with the present value of the notes payable and you get a $4,000 expense for that notes payable. And then let's go over here and look at the discount to notes payable. Now the discount is a uh, contra account to notes payable so it's a balancing entry here so let's look at it. The $4,000 notes payable less the $3,170 present value which we recorded as an expense equals this discount amount. So that's a balancing entry. It balances the $4,000 credit with the $3,170 debit and then the associated debit here would be $830. And then the credit or we reduce the discounts to notes payable each year by that interest expense. So that reduces the thousand dollar payment it's reduced by this interest expense and then this interest expense here which is credited or dis, uh, reduces discount notes payable gets debited over here into notes payable expense 
for each year. So this is just an overview of how you would record uh, the notes payable and its associated discount and expense for each of the years.